Hey rockers, welcome here on Masters of Rock. Last day, Sunday. As you can see, we are here in beautiful Rudolf Inek Distillery. Yep, hello, good to be here. Okay, man, before I talk to your show, how are you? Tell me, what are your feelings before your show? What are you feeling right now? It, it's been two and a half years of total bizarreness throughout the world. And now that we're finally able to do some actual shows, uh, it just feels weird. Weird? <laughs> yeah. Okay, why? But wonderful at the same time. Because, like I said, it was such weird times. And we just released the previous album, Human Nature, pretty much on the same month as the lockdown came. So it was very mixed feelings, like we had been working with this album for a year and then ready to go on tour throughout the world and everything stopped. And then it was just being at home doing some side projects for two years and finally the world opened up and here we are. So it's weird and wonderful and exciting all at the same time. That's what I wanted to ask you before I saw that on 2019 and 2020 you had no tour already. And in 2021 you had just a few. So right now, uh, how is it for you or for all your bandmates to play, you know, to have all these shows, these concerts right to the end of the year already? Isn't it a little bit exhausting for you? Well, we stood still for two years, so it's not exhausting at all. It's just wonderful. And you can actually also see it from the audience. It's not only the bands who are excited to be back. The reaction from the people, wherever we play, it's like more electric than ever before. So people have missed this as much as the bands. That's true, me too. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. So, and are you nervous? Not really nervous. There's a difference between being nervous and excited. And I used to be nervous and afraid of everything for 20 years being in the band, but then something just happened and clicked and I don't get those nervous jitterbugs anymore, you know. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So now, what do you feel when you go on the stage? And before the stage, do you feel some blood rush, the adrenaline? And what's the difference between you go on stage and when you are on stage? The funny thing is that you never know what to expect. Sometimes five minutes before going on stage, you feel really hyped and really excited and I'm ready. And then nothing really happens on stage. You know, it, it might be okay, but you just don't get on the mood. And it happens vice versa really often as well. Maybe you're sick, maybe you're tired, jet lagged, don't really feel it going on stage. And then from the first so song on, you see the audience, you get the energy and you have the best show ever. So it's just the weirdest thing. You can never know what to expect. Okay, thank you for answering. Yeah. Good. Okay, and do you have some rituals before you go to your show? Like you need to warm up or somebody need to drink something or you need to sum summon the devil? <laughs> yeah, some yeah, I summon the devil every now and then. It really helps. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do have, do have Different devils. There are a few of them. Okay. But the, yeah, besides that, I always go through the set list in my head like a few minutes before the show. Just mental practice of uh, which songs we're gonna play tonight, in which order, what do I have to remember. Maybe try to imagine the stories behind the songs a little bit to really get on the mood, on the live mood. And I have a habit of playing most of the, well not most of the song, but a lot of the set list my, with my eyes closed, especially during the first half of the set, just to get into the vibe of what the stories are about. So that's the kind of thing that I go through in my head just before the show. Accompanied by a nice glass of red wine. <laughs> okay. So, if I understood you right, the red wine is something that you must have every time when you are on tour. Is it right? Of course. Okay. Good to know. <laughs>
Okay, so let's talk about this event. Uh, what can we expect from Nightwish tonight? Do you have something special? Or... It's always special. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you never know what's gonna happen. We have the certain songs that we're gonna play, so that much is planned, but then anything can happen on stage. And uh, it's a lovely addition that we're able to bring the full production here, so we're gonna have pyros, the full screens, all of that, that we didn't have last week, for example. So that's always something extra special for us members on the stage as well. For us too. Mm. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Mm. And let's talk about your latest album. How are you satisfied with it? Was everything, did everything go according to plan or...? You... Absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't change a note. Wouldn't change it's a note? No, wouldn't change a note. It's all there exactly as we planned. And uh, actually during the lockdown, uh, I got a bit bored, so I wrote all the songs for the next album already. So we have 12 songs now ready for it to happen just before coming here. Today in the hotel room we were going through some of those songs uh, with the lyrics, with the vocal lines, floor singing, some of them. So it's already in the process of being made. And we're gonna hit the studio next summer, uh, summer of 23. So it's looking good. And how does songwriting looks like in Nightwish? Like, do you get together or is it only on, in your, your... You do most of the work or...? Yeah. Songwriting is a private job in this band. That's the way it's always been and it's just the way it works out the best for us. That uh, I, I need my solitude and privacy for about a year first. And then when I'm satisfied enough with those songs, I dare to play them to the other members of the band. Uh, that's a horrible moment always because that's all, all that matters. I really want them to enjoy them as much as I do. And if they're happy, then everything is all right. Um, I played the new songs for them the first time a couple of months ago and everybody got really excited. So that was a big rock of my chest. And now we're in the process of bringing those songs alive with the whole band. Floor bringing in her own vocal lines and ideas, interpretation. Everybody bringing their own soul with their own instruments. And that's a long but lovely pro process that we have already started. Good. Okay, do you have any favorite place where you write your songs or where you get where you get your ideas? Like for example in the toilet or in the bed or you no, go into at, at home. At home. At home, upstairs, Everywhere. in my in my study room. That's where I do most of my job. I sometimes go to our summer cabin to write some lyrics. I did that last fall. Um, but like 95% of the songwriting I like to do at home, where it's quiet and safe and homely. Okay. So you need quiet for it? You don't like rush things? And... Rush is terrible. It's uh, the ultimate inspiration killer, at least for me. Sometimes a deadline can be a nice little boost to get things done. But uh, like when I start writing a new album, I need to have the mentality that okay now there's nothing else for the next year or year and a half so I can just fully concentrate on this. Do you prefer clubs or festivals? Both have their advantages. Small clubs, you get this really intimate feeling, connection with the people, you can see the sweat and smiles on their faces. Then you go on bigger arenas, they have their own special atmosphere. On festival, festivals, it's like the whole mankind has come together. And when you see 20,000 people singing a song that we have written, it's something extra magical. So it's the best of both worlds, really. Okay. And you've played here in Czech Republic a few times. So do you have any memorable moments from it? From Czech Republic? Yeah, from playing here. 
No, oh. I, don't, no I don't mean here in Masters of Rock, but, but in Czech. In Czech. Generally. I always remember the Christmas marketplace on Prague. Right. That's one of the most beautiful places there is. And also this year we're going to play our last show of the European leg on the 21st of December in Prague. And we're definitely going to hit the Christmas market then as well. What are your future goals? My future goals lie in being happy, content, balanced in my life, being able to create music. I hope the creativity never ends. Uh, I hope to get to keep certain people close to me until the day I die. Um, our cats, our horse, our family, and uh, to be just able to live a relatively simple and happy and quiet life. That's what I want from the next, hopefully, 40, 50 years. Hello there, this is Thomas of Nightwish here and the last show of this year of 2022 will be played in Prague in the O2 Arena so make sure you're all there to party with us. Cheers!